if you only knew the power of the dark side. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McCloud. AKA, <laughs> need I say more? Ne need I say fucking more? Come on. Come on, kid. You know who this is. The baddest man on the planet. Planet, planet, planet. Not enough of the theatrics. Listen. <laughs> this guy named Strunk Enough, or Not Strunk Enough, pretty much just ripped, um, uh, what's his name? Um, 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 Aloha Destiny, um, Ellen Destiny, Alpha Destiny, yeah, Alpha Destiny, a new asshole. Listen. I'm not going to go over every single thing. I'm not even going to play too much this one. Let me first start off here by giving you the gist of how this guy feels about Alex. Let me turn my volume up here. Alright, so this was pretty unexpected considering that on my last video regarding this topic I said that I still liked Alex and the only thing, the only problem I had was just the reasons he did it. I just disagreed, but whatever. Um, but recently he's done some, some things that I, I can't ignore and it's really changed so I th what I think about him. Uh Alright, now I'm going to stop right there. Now, from what I've heard on the internet, because I don't know everything about what went on between these guys, I know that I guess he must have interviewed this guy for some reason and they took the interview down, they had a Skype. Pretty much, you know, the gist of it, he said, you know, Alex or, um, what's his name, Aloha, Ellen, Alpha Destiny said a few things that you know rubbed this guy the wrong way apparently now that led him to you know exposing this guy alpha destiny for some old shit now i'm not gonna dig into everything i want you guys to watch this guy's video you can see his channel right here let me scroll up that's his channel name right here give him full credit you know what i'm saying that's his channel matter of fact let me sub him right now yeah so that's his channel name right here. Not strong enough. Give this guy a follow. I watched this video. Crazy, crazy exposure. There's my comment right there. <laughs> so anyway, I want to touch on a few things. Now, one of the things that really, really rubbed me the wrong way is during the end of the video around this area here, he put some comments up that Alpha Destiny made. Now, one of those comments was mad racist. Mad racist, mad racist. Let me see if I can go back far enough. I think I might be able to find it. But he pretty much just used the N word. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, he comes off as, you know, being this outstanding guy. I'm so awesome. I'm so alpha. Da 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 da. All this fake, felonious bullshit. And this guy, you know, look at him. The dude's a low-key racist. You don't say the N-word unless you mean it. You get what I'm saying? Not only that, he's been, like I said, I've been telling you guys for how long now? He's been finessing the fitness industry. Apparently, way back when, which was a few years back, he, um, you know, he went from skinny to all of a sudden he got a little bit of muscle. Now, what this guy in this video is trying to say, but not just say flat out, is obviously there's some extracurricular activity going on when it comes to his muscle gains. And he also had a photo where he was saying he was 160 shredded. And currently now, he's saying he's 160 shredded. Now he's saying his program builds you all this muscle. Then where is the muscle that you built? Because if a few years ago you're 160 shredded all of a sudden after us, allegedly a cycle, allegedly, and you're 160 lean, now you're claiming you're 160 lean, and you actually claim that you're taller now, that means either you lost muscle or you didn't grow taller. Are you just lying all around, like making up all this, all this fake ass shit to sell programs? At the end of the day, it's all about who can finesse the people the best. And you see, the most popular guys in the fitness industry are the best at finessing the people. You get what I'm saying? All this fake natty stuff going around. This guy claims to be natty. I've never seen him take anything, so I'm not gonna say he takes things now. I've never seen him, you know, not with my eyes. But apparently on the internet, people are saying allegedly, you know, there are some uh, semester curricular activities going on when it goes to, when it comes to this guy's muscle gain. All right. 
and you know if you watch this video you're gonna see some pictures of him when he first started his channel out which you know you would think this shit was like 10 years ago from the size of this guy he was like he was like a twig and like over a summer all of a sudden boom he puts on some muscle he's flexing but the thing is you claim your programs put on so much muscle mass then where is it at because currently now we see we see what 160 lean 160 lean you're not bigger like i don't know i don't know you know what i'm saying i would think after a few years you put on some size a noticeable difference there is no notice only thing noticeably different is the guy's hairline you know what i'm saying that's it and that only leads to one sign possible allegedly some extra cur curricular activities going on with the usage so you know like i said man this fitness industry i've seen so much over the last few months when it comes to david Lane and his gyno when it comes to this guy and his felonious activities it comes man it's, it's so much going on right now in this fitness industry it makes you wonder who do you believe because most of us are here you know even though we are you know entrenched in the drama that goes on in the everyday lives of these people you know what about you know the muscle gains because at the end of the day that's what we're all here for we you know people want muscle gains you got people selling ebooks you sell these ebooks based upon these exercises that pretty much um damn what's the word he uses uh i guess popular or non-popular i can't even think of the fucking word right now but you know like the basics bench press deadlift you know what i'm saying i guess stiff leg deadlift or deadlift in the front whatever you call it i don't know the name for that shit you know he he comes up with these behind the back deadlifts these crazy lifts that don't actually build any muscle they're just something you can do as a result of working out but they're not muscle building exercises like the rack pulls above the knee that doesn't make you swole that doesn't put hella muscle on you. that's just something you can do from you know having the muscle that you gain from doing other workouts but it's not something that you just do a bunch of rack pulls above the knee you're gonna grow a bunch of back strength a bunch of quad and wrist strength you're not it doesn't work like that that's not a full range of motion type of exercise but he markets these things as the the end all do all for building muscle he claims his programs are the only way you know it's a lot of stuff man i can go on all day about this but bottom line is i want you guys to watch this kid's video he pretty much goes through you know years of exposing this guy left and right and left and right and just some of the weird stuff he actually says on forums like you know pulling out his whatchamacallit and stuff like that in front of girls and you know just this whole alpha thing he, he claims to be but you know people are you know this guy's mad because he's deleting comments you know what i'm saying he's like why are you so alpha but you're deleting comments you're not mad enough to stand behind your word and stuff like that you know it's 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 a big situation but you know i guess this whole thing started Maybe these guys were going to link up and do a collab. I don't know. But I guess he must have interviewed the kid. And things didn't go right. Alpha Desi took the video down, the interview down. And then the shit started. And that's what happens, you know. According to what this guy's saying, you know, Aloha, I mean, Alpha Destiny did something. You know, it was some shady activity. He's saying one thing to him in person, then saying a different thing on the internet. And the dude said, you know what? I see what type of person you are. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can expose your ass. And that's what, <laughs> that's what YouTube fitness is about. You know, you get exposed. So you might want to be squeaky clean, kids. But yeah, you know, like I've been saying, man, for the longest, man. You know, this guy's been promoting these weird-ass workouts. These, you know, maxing out every day, um, every week. I mean, you know, just all this crazy stuff. And I've been telling people, look, you're going to get snapped up. You're going to get your tendons pulled. This kid is... You know, he's a young buster. He doesn't have the information like he's like some guru. Even the old gurus on here now, like the older guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to throw their names out there because they're going to cry. But these guys, they're not even gurus and they're old as dirt. They take TRT and they put on muscle. They went their whole lives fat as hell, you know? Nothing against fat people. But I'm just saying, these guys went their whole life fat as hell. Then they, get, they go to the doctor because they have health complications. The doctor says you need to lose weight. Here's some TRT because you're over the age of 46 and your, t and your t t testosterone is low. So here, take this. So they're taking this stuff. They're working out. They're putting on this muscle. They show up on YouTube like they're fucking gurus and they're not. Bottom line. And then you got these young bucks who go in and take a, and take a few cycles of, a, you know, allegedly a few cycles of some stuff. Put on some muscle 
and now they're just the motherfucking the oracle for building muscle when they know nothing at all that's the bottom line here these guys know nothing they should be exposed i'm glad this kid was exposed um i got a bunch of videos just going in on this kid and there's a few other guys on here, man. I don't even want to bring this other guy's name into the mix. But this is a guy that's kind of affiliated with him. And he also does these crazy heavy ass lifts in his garage. And give these philosophy type explanations. And tries to be so real. And all this fake ass shit. And at the end of the day, nobody knows what the dude is doing when the camera's off. No one knows what, what this person can possibly allegedly be taking in order to do these crazy lifts. 200 pounds, 500 pounds, 600 pounds, 300 pounds doing this. You know, just crazy shit. Crazy shit. But they come on here and then they finesse the people. And then the idiots fall for it. Then guys like me and the strong enough kid, we go in, you know, we expose people. But then you got fanboys who come around. Well, that's attainable naturally. Well, that's attainable. Shut up. Shut, shut the fuck up. It's not. It's not. It's attainable with steroids. All the guys who are big in the fitness industry right now are taking steroids every last one of them if a guy looks overly swole like he's like an nfl fucking player but he's claiming oh it's all 100 natural what come on come on come on this is bull but you know like i said man you got fanboys you know you're you're you know you might not have had a daddy figure in your life so when you see these these entities on the internet a part of you latches on to them and anything they tell you you'll believe you'll soak it up like a sponge because you're foolish and they know they're going to make millions of dollars off of you. Like I said, guys competing in these shows. You don't compete in a fitness show unless you're taking something. Because trust me, these other guys, most of the guys that be at these fitness shows don't even have a YouTube channel. They're just there. That's just their life. They don't document. And not every person at a show on the stage has a YouTube channel. They don't. So you don't know what this person is doing in order to go to this show. He just wants to be in this show. They're, they're taking stuff and if you're in the show getting first second third place you're you even make it to the show top 10 fucking a you, you're taking something even the weakest guy even the even the last place guy at one of these so-called natural shows is taking some shit he just didn't do it as well as the other guy bottom line so as for this exposing thing you know i'm glad this kid got exposed because of the racist comments the lies the slander that he puts on you know about his program's doing all these things. Yeah, come on, man. Like I say, people, all you need is time, consistency, and patience. And a good work ethic. And you need full range of motion. And properly doing the exercise. And you're going to build muscle over time. Nothing comes in five seconds. There is no 30, no 10-minute abs. No, you can, do t you can do your abs for 10 minutes and get a good little workout in if you, if you put some intensity in it. But you're not going to wake up the next day with ripped-ass six-pack abs. It doesn't work like that. You're not going to go to the gym and do one of these guys' programs. Matter of fact, some guy, matter of fact, I told him I was going to say this in the video. Um, he posted a comment. And pretty much, I guess he bought one of Alpha Destiny's plans. Alpha Destiny. That he wouldn't. I guess Alpha Destiny must have asked him, how's the plan going? How's your gains going? After a while, the guy said, I didn't make any gains from your program. And then I guess Alpha Destiny says something like, you're not alpha enough. You're not strong enough. You know, pretty much, it, it was something stupid that he fucking said. And then right then and there, that guy, that kid that you know, believed in him, right then was his wake up call. Right at that very moment, he realized that this dude is full of shit. Right in that very moment. And he messaged me and he, you know, he commented on a comment that I had commented on. And I saw that, so I told him I was gonna throw that in the video and here it is. That's what, you're, that's what you get. You know, when you deal, when you believe in the unbelievable. If it seems too good to be true, come on. If I ever show up on here one day and all of a sudden I got 22 inch arms, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pushing supplements, talking about, yeah, you can get big like this, take this. Something's wrong. Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, making a business of this thing. Everyone wants to make a business. That's what America's run on, you know, business capitalism. But when you're doing dirty business and shady business, that's when we have a problem. There's nothing wrong with starting a fitness company. I'm going to start my own once my weight gets up in the game. But when you lie to people, sell them products that don't work, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys who make protein powders, they don't make protein powders that actually do anything. It's $50 worth of caulk and chocolate and chocolate cocoa, <laughs> fake ass cocoa with that, with some fucking artificial sweeteners to make this shit taste good. Now every day you hear someone saying, oh, my protein powder, 
Mmm, it tastes so good. Back in the day, protein powders used to taste like dog shit. You know what I'm saying? But they, but they kind of worked because they actually had the ingredients. But then all of a sudden, it got too costly. So then they started knocking out most of the active ingredients that actually build muscle. They start putting in a bunch of artificial sweetness. Now you got this strawberry, cookies and cream, pineapple, blah, blah, all these freaking flavors. But you're not getting any gains from it. You have to eat whole foods. Put the Pop-Tarts to the side. You know what I'm saying? Eat your whole foods. Eat your lean meats. Eat, people. Work out. Stay consistent. All right? Get your rest. Get your sleep. On those days where you don't want to go to the gym, go to the gym. Even if you're not going to go in and go balls to wall, just go in and do something. You know what I'm saying? Go do some curls. It might be a day you say, damn, man, I don't feel like going and do another bench, then back, then shoulder workout. Just go in and do some shoulder raises and then get the fuck out. And I guarantee you, you might not, you might not, you know, you're going to go in, you're going to do the shoulder raises. All right, I did them. You might not want to go and still do the big bench press workout, but you might say, let me throw some curls in there, you know. You might go do some fucking leg extensions and then leave. But you'll feel better in the end because you're putting that effort in, even when you don't want to. That's what discipline is, doing what needs to be done even when you don't want to do it. But that's all for this video, people. I want you guys to still go to this guy's channel here. I'm going to scroll down, check it out. There's his channel name, Not Strunk Enough. This video was just posted on the 21st, which was pretty much uh, yesterday. All right? So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on guards that came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? But the phony niggas in the world say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.